Hi there, I'm Brooke and this is my channel Tarot with B. So today we're going to be seeing what you're manifesting. Just whatever's coming to you fairly soon. Um, and we'll get some advice as well for maybe like how to get there faster or, you know, just to draw it in, right? So we have three piles today. I am using the new Animal Apothecary Oracle deck by Cara Elizabeth. This is a really cool deck and it's really colorful and there's a lot to go off of. So just trust your intuition. You could be drawn to more than one pile. Feel free to watch as many piles as you'd like. Um, but pile one is just trust with the number 32. That's pile one. Pile two is transformation with the number 42. And pile three is magnetism through gratitude with the number 31. So again, take it a second and really just see, you know, if there's any animals, symbols, words um, that call out to you. You could also be um, attracted to the timestamp down below, um, but or, or a certain color, you know, whatever is intuitively calling to you, trust that, okay? And just choose the pile you really feel drawn to, or for piles, excuse me, <laughs> if you're drawn to more than one. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get started with pile number one. I'll leave the timestamps down below. You can just click on your pile and I will see you in a minute, okay? Hi there, pile one. So if you chose the Just Trust card, this is your reading. So what you're manifesting? Spirit really wants you to just trust the, uh, the universe, first of all. Maybe you're getting really anxious or antsy about what's coming or what's not coming right now. like, And you feel like you're just waiting and waiting and waiting and spirit really wants you to know like things are coming you know the <laughs> this mole is like bursting out of the ground right and there's sunshine and rainbows and there's also a sapling on this card which comes from the roots you know i think you're really in that root period sorry <laughs> i had to set those down in that root period right now where you're growing things things are really just taking root and this little sapling is going to pop up any day, you know? Um, so Spirit just really wants you to trust that it's coming. You know, whatever it is that you're working on manifesting, it will be here soon. You just have to kind of trust in the universe, which is difficult sometimes, but <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> um, okay, so we've got, I did pre-shuffle some Oracle cards for you. So let's take a look at these. We have Stagnation. The lizard and pitcher plant. Ah, Hathor. Joy. Ooh, beautiful. Protection. Which is the onion. Strength. Mystery. I also have word art. Developing photos and chicken nuggets. So for you, pile number one, again, I think you've been in this stagnation period. You haven't been, oof, the cars are busy out there today. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, you've felt very stuck. It feels like you kind of maybe blocked a bit and like not able to really move forward for some reason. It's just like you're really, you're feeling like things are taking too long, too long, <laughs> and it's slow, you know, like things just aren't coming, manifesting the way you want them to, or the, at the speed you want them to, at the rate you want them to, right? And I think, you know, with strength here, you, you've got that. And again, there's a lot about foundations. Like, I don't know, I see these and it's like, you have to have a strong foundation in order to get something tall 
to stand, right? And same with this, something heavy to stand. You need a strong base. And I think that that's really what Spirit's trying to tell you. Like, you need to potentially just work through some things and just keep going. You know, I, f I always... Chicken nugget doesn't come out very much, so I'm going to see. Just so I clarify for myself. Yeah, there's like... This is what you kind of have to work through with this chicken nugget energy. There's some sort of like... Um, I don't want to be like insulting, but childish um, mindset here that's really holding you back. And I think that that's potentially just like maybe even you just being impatient and like expecting things to come faster than they are. I think that that could be what this is talking about. Um, but, you know, again, you are incredible. Like the universe is the universe really wants you to know, like they're here for you. You are protected on that other side. Also, this is Aries energy, so that's a very forward momentum, like action-oriented sign, right? They're very go, go, go. And I think that that may be how you are. So you're just like going, 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 but you're not seeing the results as quickly as you want. And that's um, potentially blocking you from wanting to continue to do whatever it is that brings you joy, because I think that... Um, whatever this is that you're trying to manifest, you really like, you really enjoy it. And you've invested a lot of yourself and your heart into this. Um, and I think it could be some sort of creative endeavor or something like that because, um, something innovative, you know, just something that, and it could potentially be, um, online, like through social media or just like through the internet, something like that for a website, you know anything like to create a website to create digital art something like that there's just something here that or even starting a new shop like a business something like that <laughs> something like that say it again <laughs> I keep repeating I'm so sorry but um it's something that brings you a lot of joy and that's why it's kind of it's you feel really crappy because it's not coming in as quickly as you'd like but Spirit wants you to know it's coming. It's definitely coming. Um, fairly soon. Oh my gosh, I just looked over and this says, keep trying. So keep going. Really continue to, what? Look at this. To, to manifest. Keep going. And your prayers will be answered. Your, your, um, your manifestations will be answered. Because the universe has got your back. You're very protected. And they got you. You know, they really got you. And it's funny because they kind of... It's a mystery right now. About, like, potentially when it's coming. Something like that. And there's definitely a connection to the past as well here. So there's something about this endeavor that you're trying to... Or it could be honestly, hmm. you could be trying to manifest a person too, really. Um, but <laughs> from the past, you know, but it's something that makes you feel very nostalgic and brings you a lot of comfort. And like, you want to look back on it, right? And I think you're also, you look, you're in your head a lot and you look back on the things that potentially you feel like didn't go right or like why isn't this work you know why didn't this work and then you try something different which is great because they want you to keep trying they want you to continue forward and just try different stuff right I wanted to look in the guidebook for this mystery card because it felt significant I felt called to so for the mystery card, I'm going to read it right to you. The mystery card represents the idea that it's okay to not have all of the answers all the time. Embrace the various mysteries of life and let things happen and unfold as they need to. Surrender to the unknown. So it's exactly like this card. Just trust it. Trust the universe and trust that things will be coming to you because you persevere. You continue to move forward. You know, don't get too pessimistic. I know that is so hard when you're waiting for so long. It feels like, when the hell is this coming? I've worked so hard and nothing's showing for it. 
but spirit really wants you to know like it will you're manifesting this and they're helping you definitely divinely guided and divine timing i think that with this card specifically they really want you to know like it will happen exactly when it's meant to right and that can be really frustrating as the person waiting for it to happen but it will come when it needs to like when it's meant to you know and it, you're going to be so happy when it does um so let's see your tarot cards now and then we'll get into some advice So we have the Eight of Cups, yep. King of Cups. The Magician, beautiful. The Four of Cups. Yeah. Whoops. <laughs> the Seven of Pentacles. Oh, you are so over it. Okay, it's okay. And the King of Pentacles, ooh, okay. Love this. All right. So you've definitely felt like walking away a lot with the Eight of Pentacles. It's like, it would be painful to walk away though, you know, like your cups are all sitting there. And you're like, no, you know what? I've done all of this, but I'm ready to go because things aren't happening for me and I don't want to wait anymore because you feel like you're in a very like you're you've been waiting a long time with these two cards specifically it's like I'm done and you may be even missing opportunities that are coming to you or that are presenting themselves to you because you're not focused on anything other than the fail like the failure it's not a failure at all because you're doing it and you keep going which is amazing but um you're missing these opportunities because you're so focused on like, well, why isn't this coming? Like, why am I not successful yet? Why, why am I not with this person? You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't feel like a romantic connection. It might be for some of you though, but, um, you're just over it and you feel so stuck almost. And you're, you continue to work, which is good. You know, I think that, um, but it's like, you're just going through the motions right now. There's not a lot of heart here because I think you have a lot of heart. You do with this King of Cups. It's something that makes you very, very, very happy. And it feels like you're falling out of love with whatever it is that you're trying to manifest here because I, you are a very powerful manifester to have the magician come out. Like you really have to focus your efforts on exact this one thing right don't focus on a lot of different stuff Fo like t focus on those steps that it takes to get there and just keep going you know um and the magician you know just powerful pa aries energy again right wait i don't remember oh i really need to get better at that for the science videos but we have the magician it's a very like go forth let's do this, the beginning of something, you know, you have all the resources, you just have to channel them into the right place, right? And not, maybe just get more organized too, because we did have that chicken nuggets card. So it's like, maybe you're not, um, you're not going about this as professionally as you could, if you know what I mean. Um, because that was saying like a childish energy and you might just not have the know of how to do it specific, like in a legit way, right? Like if it's a business or something like that, you know, just really focus on exactly like a successful um, blueprint, you know, like look at other companies or other people that have done what you want to do successfully, right? And see how they got there. I'm not saying do exactly what they did because, you know, sometimes that's not beneficial, but just see, just really do some research and try and manifest from that perspective instead of like here to here. It feels like 
you look at um, point A and then the end product, right? You don't look at all, like A to Z. You, you, that's what you see. You don't see B, C, D, A, all of the in between, right? So, which is good to have a big picture, but you need to focus on the little things too. <laughs> um, because gosh, there's a, there's, could be a lot of abundance here with the King of Pentacles. This could also mean that someone's coming in like an older person. I don't mean like an old person, but, um, someone that's older than you or has more know-how on things with the King of Pentacles. They just, from a business perspective or f yeah. And that they have the resources and connections to help you move along and um, find success with this, you know, with the King of Pentacles, which is fascinating. Um, and this is like the potential for your abundance as well, you know, because just keep going. You have to keep persevering with that, that strength card really... They want you to keep going. Yeah, just keep going. Try new things if you have to. But, um, and I know it's it sucks because it's like a mystery right now. It's so up in the air, but just trust. Just trust. Just like that card that you picked. <laughs> just trust, which is so difficult, but you've got this. I know because you're so over it. It's this card, Crip. It's funny because their hoodie says over it, you know, and it's that hand's presenting a cup, some a new opportunity or something like that. And they're just completely not paying any attention to it, right? And that's, pro I feel like that's the energy you're in right now. It feels like you're stuck, but Spirit really wants you to know, like, you're exactly where you need to be, which is incredibly annoying to hear, I know, but it will move along. So let's take a look at your advice. Let's take a look at your advice here. The cards that came out. Yeah, endings are inevitable with gray. And have a beautiful day. Cultivate inner booty. So here it's, you may have to walk away from certain things in order to manifest this. Um, but it'll be okay at the end of the day, you know, because... You're living every day to your fullest and spirit really wants you to focus on the positives and aligning yourself with your goals and exactly what it is that you want. You have to align your mind, body and soul, right, to make manifest this. And, you know, there may, again, spirit wants you to know, like, there may be some endings here that are inevitable and sad this I believe this yeah this person's crying you know but you're gonna be okay at the end of the day it's yeah look this was at the bottom of the deck keep calm and fucking breathe like everything's gonna be okay raise the vibe one breath at a time yeah don't be so pessimistic and negative that's low vibrational stuff right and don't compare yourself to other people either it's not a competition you are your own person and gosh things are just gonna be okay yeah like ah interesting this is at the bottom of the deck for this lavender surround yourself with love so you know just this could mean relationships endings are inevitable i mean like work relationships or something like that you know there could be something that's not working in that way and maybe you're collaborating with someone to try and manifest whatever this is but and they're not so they're not aligned with you or the goal or you know the end product so you may have to let go of them and then invite these people in that support you and love you and want the best for you and whatever this is that you're manifesting right but yeah, and there's a lot of it. Shut up. I'm sorry. I was going to do this before, <laughs> but I just looked over and was like, oh my God. So you, lots of expansion and planning. Definitely. It, planning to move forward because wands are action, right? And um, movement. So there's, and it's interesting, there's boats. So maybe you're like thinking about moving or something like that, or just traveling abroad, something, you know, 
about going somewhere. Maybe you want to take this international or something, right? But um, definitely planning that out. Again, getting your ducks in an order. Like, think about A, B, C, D, E, F before you think about A through Z, right? Like, you have to think about all of the steps because it will lead to success with this Ten of Pentacles. Lots of stability and mon money, money, money. Just a good, because you'll have that solid foundation, remember? And it will bring so much. You can build so much on a solid foundation, right? So just focus on you. That's really what this is saying too. Like focus on getting that mind, body, and soul connected and try not to compare yourself to others. Yeah? So that's what I have for you, Pile One. It's been such a pleasure to read for you today. If you'd like to subscribe, you can hit that button down below. If you'd like to be notified when I post a new video, that notification bell somewhere. Um, <laughs> if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, I'll leave my email link down below. And if you'd like to follow me on social media, I'll leave those linked down below as well. But I hope you have a beautiful day, night, or evening, wherever you are, Pile One, and I will see you next time, okay? Bye! Hi there, Pile Two. So if you chose the transformation card, this is your reading. So what you're manifesting... <laughs> Honestly, you are glowing the fuck up with transformation here. You know, you're going to be spreading and evolving, like spreading your wings. This is a phoenix, right? So it seems as though you've been in kind of a difficult energy to navigate and feeling rather dejected as well like not where you want to be it seems as though like your past man you're in your like past manifestation period right now like where you're not as evolved as you're going to be because that transformation is coming perhaps it's a it could come in the form as a spiritual awakening but there's something here where you are just going to be glowing up and just living your best life um, I do want to see what the book says a little bit here. Um, yeah, there's just a huge, there's a huge change coming for you. There's something here that, and it's going to shift completely, but it'll feel so good. It, and here's the thing, like through these transformations, you know, there may be some sort of ending or a painful ending that brings you into this new beginning, this new sense of self, this new self entirely, right? So that could be happening as well. But you're certainly, you're manifesting this transformation of yourself. Big change. It's a huge change within you um, because you've been working really hard. Yes, you may feel stuck and like you've been in this cycle for a really long time but it's shifting it's shifting soon and all of that hard work is going to pay off and c come in the form of a huge change within you in your circumstances anything it's a huge change um because y you're just evolving i think you're probably going to be letting go of past beliefs and biases and whatnot and just living um at a higher level and a higher level of consciousness too like people really don't understand when you go through a spirit like that haven't gone through it they don't understand what that's like um to feel so aware of everything every living being all of that, you know, you really connect things differently after you spiritually, like, go through a spiritual awakening. And that's kind of what this feels like. It feels like that's what you're manifesting. It's a big change. Also, you could be, like, almost into your Saturn return, which is around the age of 30, 60, you know, 90. <laughs> those um, those um, Saturn returns happen. And they're huge changes. I mean, big shifts in your life um but this is going to be for the better i don't want to freak you out i'm just saying like it may be um some you might have to endure some endings as well you know but i pre-shuffled some cards so let's take a look at these as well 
Beaver and Birch Home. Aditi Creation. Beautiful. Emotion, which is Cancer Energy. And we have Cancer here too. And Home. <laughs> Screaming Cancer, by the way. <laughs> Sadness. Don't worry. <laughs> I always freak out when I see stuff like that in readings that I'm watching. So I always like to be reassuring. <laughs> because look surrender beautiful also it's interesting to see these tones um the purple and then this cool it's it's a light purple it could be a gray but it, it gives me that cool toned purple vibe cold brew verified blue and flip phones so for you, pile two, I think there's something here that, <laughs> that yes, it's a complete transformation of self, but this is going to be, <laughs> I think when you go through this shift, you're going to want to change your house or something or like your living situation, not even like move or anything, but like completely change everything in there because it's funny that these are together and then enter this is like an energy energizing lively energy like in the past maybe you haven't felt like doing much with your house like maybe it's like not really decorated or anything like that um <clears throat> and can get a little messy but for this <laughs> like I think that you're going to just have so much energy and want to have a change perhaps in your home and that could mean moving it really could but at the same time it could just mean painting and like putting up art on your wall or something you know what I mean just making it feel more like home and exactly what you want um <clears throat> with your home as well um I it's you there's several messages here because for some people this could mean a baby like with home and creation here um, and all the cancer energy because cancer is the mother of the zodiac. Um, you don't have to be a mother. I'm just, it's, I'm just telling you. <laughs> um, but, and that's only for some people. I don't think that's for everybody, but um, yeah, there's just a lot of changes that you're going to be wanting to make for sure. And you're going to be feeling so like this burst of energy within you and you just want to go, 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 you know? And I think honestly with flip phones, you know, you're getting down to business. You're getting serious about things. Um, I think that, I think you're getting serious about surrendering. Here's the thing. There is this sadness here, right? And this isn't what you're manifesting. I believe this is the energy you're in right now, right? Um, and it may dictate you a lot, like what you do a lot. I get, I get the sense you may have a bit of depression or something like that because we also have this verified blue. So it's like, I think you kind of maybe right now don't go out a lot. You don't talk to people often. You're kind of to yourself and you've almost like in hermit mode, you know, not really wanting to make connections with people because you just feel kind of down right and I think again with this transformation that's going to change because verified blues here so that's getting out and getting like it's popular in demand you know like maybe you'll just be feeling very social and that will be another um addition to this um, transformation that's coming in that you're manifesting. Um, let's look at emotion with number four. That's all about stability. Um, I, this card doesn't come out often. So let me see. Cancer. So. Oh, beautiful. Any uncertainties that have been hanging around should begin to fall away soon. That's great. Yeah. Like 
because you're going to be surrendering to the universe and surrendering to your circumstances in the sense that you realize, okay, I'm here. This is what's happening right now. I'm going to try not to be super sad. I'm going to try to just make the best of my situation and do whatever it is that I need to do to make myself feel nice and at home and have this energy, you know, and get down to business about this. It's definitely, this feels like such a spiritual awakening to me. Um, and just, I think moon rituals too could be significant for you. Like maybe you'll start manifesting through the moon, like on the new moon and then releasing on the full moon, right? Like you can look up, um, full moon and new moon rituals to really, um, help you kickstart that which is really fun um yeah a commitment and even that this is for the emotion card and even perhaps a major life decision will come up and you're advised to take hold of your emotions before you determine the right path for you yeah so don't be ruled by your emotions there's lots of cancer energy here um don't be ruled by your emotions all the time you know try and just center yourself get grounded think logically and be like okay you know what no I need to go about this in a different way not be ruled by this sadness and woe is me right try and make the best of it and surrender to your circumstances again you're getting down to business there's a lot here that could be coming in for you okay let's take a look at your tarot cards so much happening Okay, your tarot cards now. Okay, so we have the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, the Ten of Swords. The Emperor. Woo! Ace of Wands. Nice. The Magician. And the sun, beautiful. Lots of powerful energy here. Definitely. With the three of pentacles, I think that you'll be doing a lot of learning to maybe take, like being in the student position, like, but like from a mentor that's teaching you something. Um, it could be like your home decor stuff. I don't know. <laughs> but, um, you know, you're definitely going to be in that sort of position or collaborating through work, um, something like that, you know, just again, getting out there because right now I think you're really not uh, too much. And, um, I think you'll be getting, maybe taking a class of some sort, um, as well to help you through some sort of painful ending here with the 10 of swords. There's definitely like I said with those new beginnings comes some endings and this one's going to be a bit painful um but you're gonna you're gonna take what you've learned from this situation that is ending and put it forth and not make the same mistakes and not let things happen the same way they did to make it so painful right we have the emperor here which is just that's Aries energy, incredibly powerful, passionate, yet um, and balanced too. I think you're going to be balancing out that logical and into intuition, um, spiritual type of vibe or like emotional. You know what I mean? I think it's so important for you to really stay firm in in your morals through this, tr through this, um, big change, this big transformation, it's going to be so important for you to stay authentically you and just stand firm, confident. I see that for sure. Lots of confidence. You could be an, um, a, a fire sign, which is Leo, Aries and Sagittarius. Cause we do have Leo energy here with the sun as well, but you're just, in this energy where people cannot move you right you're like you're in charge of yourself and 
you need people to come correct, not walking all over you, right? Because I think in the past that that could have been the case with this. But you're really manifesting. This transformation is you coming into that energy where you're just no bullshit anymore. And it's going to bring some sort of opportunity here with the Ace of Wands to take action toward these manifestations with this magician. These, whatever it is that you want to manifest, you know, this is a collective reading. I can't get super specific with what exactly um, it is. I can show you the way, that, like the journey to it, basically. But um, there's little inklings, though. Like I've said at the beginning of this um, about what they could be. But yeah, just whatever lights you up inside that's really what this ace of wands is presenting it's like here we're gonna manifest this now and you're like okay you grab that wand i love that see the wands here and then this has the wand the magician has that is holding the wand like yes i grabbed that opportunity and we're going and it just brings this youthful joy so much happiness and love and carefree energy see that smile and the sunflowers it's just such a happy card and there's a purity here too as well it's also like a purifying of your soul because through that transformation it's just listen you, you can't get rid of the past but it's cleansing your past like cleansing you mind body and soul from the past hurts and situations. And I think you're going to be doing a lot of work um, healing as well. Cause And the magician, I think maybe you could be it, spiritual, like doing things spiritually as well. So there's a lot you're manifesting, but specifically it's that um, spiritual awakening that's just going to catapult you into a total different, higher level of consciousness and awareness of things in general that maybe you didn't even think about before, you know, but it's going to be huge for you, but and happy, just lovely, shining bright. Your aura will be like so cleansed with this white and they're wearing white as well. There's a lot of white. Do you see the darkness in this? And then it's like, oh, okay. Lots of white starting to creep in. Yeah. I just think you're going to feel so much lighter. I think that's definitely what it is. So let's um, get some advice for you now. Let's see what your advice is. So we have villain. You can always rewrite the story. And we have to become more fluid, add wine, to chill, try an ice cube. So. Yeah, there's something here where the past was very, maybe you've been, again, in this energy that you're not super proud of. And, um... Or just had some actions that you're not proud of, you know. And so Spirit wants you to know, like, you can always rewrite the story. Nothing set in stone, right? Your actions speak louder than anything, okay? Yes, your words are so freaking important. But your actions are another level, right? Um... And this doesn't mean like drink wine, <laughs> by the way, like to become more fluid, add wine. Just, I think this is Spirit's way of saying chill a little bit, um, because to chill, try an ice cube. You've got to just allow the process to happen. Let this transformation take hold and just go with the flow, you know, um, because I think through this spiritual awakening, transformation, you know, whatever, um, it will cleanse you and rewrite your story 
just through your different consciousness and way of thinking. So spirit wants to prepare you for that because you may feel guilty about some things and you kind of just have to it to release it, you know, try and release that. The past is in the past. You can't really change that, but you can do better moving on, right? And going forward in the future. So this is like a moon too. There's a lot of moon here with you. Um, so cancer, a lot of cancer energy. Cancer season may be significant for you as well. And Leo, because we did have the sun. So, but I, th I really think you would benefit from doing moon rituals. You should look up new and full moon, moon rituals. They could really benefit you a lot. But that's what I have for you, Pile 2. It's been such a pleasure to read for you. If you'd like to subscribe, you can hit that button down below. If you'd like to be notified when I post a new video, there's a notification bell down there too. <laughs> um, if you'd like to follow me on social media, I'll leave those down below. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, I'll leave my email link down below as well. But I hope you have a beautiful day, night, or evening, wherever you are, Pile 2. And I will see you next time, okay? Bye! Hi there, Pile 3. So if you chose the Magnetism Through Gratitude card, this is your reading. So for you, what you're manifesting, there are th the three of cups here, right? So I think that this is about connections. <laughs> I think you're my love <laughs> pile. I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm just warning you now. Oh, sorry. The, my camera's all weird. Okay. I'm just warning you now <laughs> in case you want to, you know, not manifest love. That's cool. But I think that's you. Um, definitely close, happy connections. Um, through gratitude, you know, showing your gratitude to the universe, just giving such happy vibes. It's like you'll be on such a high, you'll be wanting to, like the universe is just like giving you everything, <laughs> you know, not everything you want, obviously, but you're going to be like a magnet, you know, like just getting every. <laughs> Getting things easily. I don't mean everything you want, but easily, right? Things are just going to be coming to you and it'll be like, wow, this is awesome. You're just really going to be in this. You're ma manifesting this amazing time of happiness and love and abundance and joy, you know, um, and def potentially a connection could be friendship, but I think it's, we'll see. Um, <laughs> I'm going to show you the cards that I pulled for you that came out for you so romance the finch and peach i'm telling you there's something here <laughs> boldness freya strength which is virgo energy ideation fear oh this happens every time You know, I just got like a whoof in my stomach, like it went, it swooped. So I think the idea of love and a relationship gives you a lot of anxiety. It just like, whoof, and that doesn't happen usually for me. So like in a reading, it just like floof completely. And I was like, oh, it dropped, you know, minimalist white snowstorm. Yep. And Grandma Mob. Oh. Okay, so for you, my beautiful pile three, you're going to be <laughs> manifesting some sort of romance. But I also think that through that, you're manifesting this confidence and strength to you that will help you navigate through this fear that you're feeling because it's going to be like you're being pelted on the head with things right chaos it'll feel really chaotic in, in your mind and in your body potentially even you're just going to be like really freaking nervous about putting yourself out there or like and having someone interested even potentially um because i also think you have an idea of what you want in a in a relationship and in a person and you're really like not wanting to to um 
bend on that. Like, and we have Virgo here, so you're very steadfast and no, I, they need to be exactly how I want them. Like, and I don't mean in a controlling way. I just mean like you manifesting somebody, you need them to, um, check off all of the boxes, right? Like on your list, like they, they look like, the, you know, they're this type of person. They, they like this, they blah, blah, blah. You know, they have this career. I mean, maybe not a, that specific, but you know what I mean? And it's like you have these bullet points that you need um, that you need in a partner, right? But, um, and there's that fear that comes in when you get this attention because I think this person, whoever this romance is with, is so open and kind and gives you a lot of attention and love. It's like their arms are open. Here I am. It's okay, you know? And... I think you're also manifesting this, you know, these really go together, this boldness to allow yourself to put your emotions out there and put out whatever it is that you want from it, right? And you're finding that strength to work through the fear within yourself of a potential relationship, right? Um, minimalist white. This is like a basic, but I need to see the different words here. They only give like three words, but they really help. Minimal basic essential. Hmm. Because it feels, see to me, this is like it feels so easy, if you will. Like, you're almost like, well, what? <laughs> And I also think that this person, like, <laughs> this is going to be, but you feel so, like, you, the, what they do, like, let me think, let me word this right. Even the smallest things in this connection make it, make you so easy. And you're like, oh, I'm such a basic bitch. Like, this, the, why did I, what? <laughs> like, who am I? Like, hmm. Because you're like swooning over the smallest things. But like this person. And I'm not saying like the bars in hell type of basic things. I just mean they're very sweet with doing things that. See, because with the Virgo energy, it's like <laughs> they they do things that really matter. Even though it's small. Uh, like I'm trying to think. Like, they refill the cat food or the dog food without it being asked. They, um, like, change a light bulb, like, without being asked. You know, they take the garbage out. Um, they just do, they get you, like, a present. They get you something small beca because they thought you'd like it. You know what I mean? Or, like, they got you the curly fries because they, <laughs> they thought, you know, even if you said you didn't want food, they still got you the curly fries anyway, and you're like... Mm. Why'd you do that? They were like, because I knew you'd want them. You know what I mean? Something like that. Like these little things that it's their actions. They seem like they're just open to, and I'm getting such heart eyes. Like they're just like, oh, <laughs> you know, and I think that you'll be too, but you're more um, apprehensive about it for sure. But I do see you manifesting this, this boldness to move forward with it because you're putting your yourself out of your comfort zone in the way that you're working through your fear not like this person is uncomfortable or anything like that um or that you feel uncomfortable with this person I don't mean that um but because you guys you could be friends first because we have the three of cups and that's all about friends you know celebrating friendships and these lovely connections so it could be you start out as friends around Thanksgiving time. I don't know. <laughs> Something like that, you know. Um, but yeah. And this is really interesting. Okay, let's get your tarot because I'm really interested to see what those have to say. I knew one of these piles was going to be love. <laughs> Sorry, I had to go check on my dog. <laughs> okay, so we have the Ace of Cups. <laughs> yes. The Six of Pentacles. Justice, the hanged one, hanged man, knight of pentacles, yes, and the five of cups. 
Let's see. Okay. Okay. So definitely some sort of love connection coming in here um, with the Ace of Cups. We have the Ace of Cups romance, the Three of Cups at the beginning of the reading. So it's certainly a lovely, I don't know if it's a serious thing. I think it's just cute, you know, um, to start. It has potential. This person's really giving and I think their love language may be gift giving, but they're just so generous and kind. They, um, I think that you both really enjoy going out potentially. And, um, I think sometimes they're like, I, no, you're not paying, you know, like they insist on paying and sometimes that can be annoying, but, um, but they're open. Like they wouldn't be the type to never let you pay. You know, this is the type of person that, um, they're bendable, you know, they're very balanced too. There's a balance here in general. I think that's within you as well, because you're working through that fear and stuff. There is some lingering because we do have the hanged man here. Um, but with justice, it's a very balanced energy with the Libra here. Um, and I think th this connection is very, it's just, you guys don't argue, you know, you don't even get to get into little squabbles or anything. It's just very fair. And again, fair. Yeah. Fair. Because like I said, yeah, they like to, to dote on you and pay and whatnot, but they're open to, like, if you want to pay once in a while, like, sometimes, whenever you want to pay, it'll be, okay, you know, it's only fair, right? <laughs> um, they're not, like, a hard ass at all. This person's just very lovely. They have a very sweet heart. Definitely very generous. Definitely. With their time and, like, material things, for sure. Um, and food. <laughs> I think that they, they like to cook. Or they like to bring you food too. Stuff like that. But um, with the hanged man. So this is Aquarius and Pisces energy. So. it's It feels as though you're. Putting yourself. In this position. In this stuck position. In some way. And maybe this is where you're at right now. You know not wanting to get in a relationship. Because I don't necessarily go by the order the cards come out. You know, that doesn't really, to me, all the time. If I'm feeling called to, like, really pay attention to the order of the cards, I will. But I don't so, not a lot. <laughs> but, um, you know, just feeling like you have to take yourself out of the equation and out of love in general. So you, you just, to get a higher sense of things and what you want from people. Maybe, remember, wasn't it you that had the ideation? Where are they, your cards? Oh, they're there. You're, yeah, you had ideation. So it's like, maybe that's, you're living in a, your daydreams, you know? I think that that's really what that is right now. And your fear is dictating your life and just not putting yourself out there. So, um, I think that it will take time you know, patience. This person's very patient too. With the Knight of Pentacles, again, we have Virgo energy, um, Capricorn and Taurus. So I think there's definitely the sense that you want to work on it. Um, I think, you know, yeah, because with this, it's like in the past, you've really paid attention to the the cups that have fallen instead of the ones that are still standing right you've gotten very sad about things in the past and really focused on the negatives instead of the positives and what's still standing and what's potentially right in front of you um so i do see you working through this though with the knight of pentacles just really <sighs> Because you're practical, right? You're a very practical person. And you're not super emotional, I don't think. So it's it's scary to feel like the potential with this Ace of Cups. That, that potential romance. Like just feeling really 
ooh, butterflies in your stomach, right? Because again, I had that flip of fear when I said, when the fear card came out, I had that flip in my stomach. So it's like, it's out of your comfort zone. But I think you're willing to put in the work to try, at least to try and make see where this goes you know um maybe really focusing on those two cups that are still standing right <laughs> instead of the three that have fallen you know I, th I think there's a little bit of a change in your thinking your thought process because that that can also be the case with the hanged man just really thinking differently in a way that you didn't before and maybe that's through separation in this little um relationship that's coming um connection that's coming it's not little it has the potential i think um but again you're very scared so you feel like you have to pull back and like <laughs> live in your head again in your daydreams so i think you're actively trying not to do that actively like really putting in that work to focus more on the positives instead of the negatives right so let's get a look at your advice So we have, yeah, Lighthouse, don't doubt your worth. Oh, and Carpe fucking Diem. Ah, YOLO. Oh, Spirit wants you to just let loose. Let loose. Carpe fucking Diem. Live your life. Live every day. And just not worry about the consequences for some things. Like, or like, that, that it's not going to work. I don't mean the consequences. Like if it's a bad, I, if it's like illegal or something, please, that's not what I mean. But <laughs> do not, um, but with Carpe fucking Diem, like just letting loose, letting your hair down, you know what I mean? Just having fun, allowing yourself to have fun and knowing that you are a beautiful person, such a beautiful person and you deserve all the good things because you're enough you are enough for anybody okay don't let past relationships or things that you see on social media or in anything in shows whatever uh, surround the people the relationships surrounding you don't let that dictate your idea of what a relationship needs to be or what you need to look like or be like or act like or which job you're meant to have don't let that dictate your worth and your um, worth for love. Like even like, what is the word I'm trying to think of? Um, your, yeah, but like you needing love. Like are you, these standards like that you, th you think you need to meet in order to deserve, there it is, deserve love. No, you don't need to meet any standards. You don't, any of that. Like, you're enough exactly as you are right now, okay? So you can be scared, but I see a confidence coming through as well with this um, yellow. It's like the sacral chakra really opening that, um, just standing back, like putting your shoulders back and standing tall really getting more confident and feeling that happiness, feeling that happiness. Because I think, again, you don't allow yourself to feel very much um, because it scares you and that's absolutely okay. But spirit really, really, really wants you to just let loose a little bit and know that you are worthy of everything that you want, okay? So that's what I have for you, Pile 3. <laughs> it's been such a pleasure to read for you. If you'd like to subscribe, you can hit that button down below. If you'd like to be notified when I post a new video, there's a notification bell down there as well. Um, if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, I'll leave my email linked. And if you'd like to um, follow me on social media, I'll leave those down below as well. But I hope you have a beautiful day, night, or evening, wherever you are, Pile 3, and I will see you next time, okay? Bye!